Hello, my name is Bianco. In this video I will take a look at the Kaito KA200 FM AM band receiver which is a small handheld radio. They make it in either grey or black color. The version in my hand is the grey one. There we see already a bit technical information. Of course it's made in China. As I open the box inside we see the radio. Manual. The manual is pretty compact. It's a small two piece triple A battery radio. You can always stop the video to look at the manual closer. The registration card is way bigger than the manual. Uh, it shows also the email and the address, they are in California. Uh, there is also the, the website listed, kaitousa.com. That's how the radio looks like. We see in front we have FM and AM and here is the, the tune that will light up a bit in a, in a yellowish greenish color. Then here of course the sound comes out. On the side we have the adjustable the wheel for move this part here. On the back side is the battery compartment, I'm gonna show that in a minute. And then here we have the selector, it's really compact, selector for FM, AM and uh, the power off. In this position of course the power is off, uh, this would be the AM position, that would be the FM position. And uh, of course here we have the turning wheel as we as we turn the front gonna move. On top we have that part here is for the volume. Here is the hole for the earbuds and it even has quite a antenna. Uh, it's about 8 inches long the antenna. For the weight and the technical information uh, you can always look on the website of Kaito. The antenna I found needs to be taken out for best connection, for best sound. To, to open the battery case it's just like this. You need to be careful the, the hinges, the whole body, the hinges are plastic. It's pretty nice mate but it's still plastic. And inside we see the compartment for two pieces AAA battery. It also has the, the uh, string here that you put down and then you put the batteries over it so you can easily take out the battery by pulling on the string. I always uh, leave the string a bit hanging out, it's a bit less than this as the, the batteries are in it. That's for the reason because this radio is a uh, plastic. It's pretty pretty strong, I did not have much problem but I did a check out with the, with the Altoids tin and of course it fits the Altoid tin really well. Uh, some people did say on the internet as I researched it uh, it's not gonna fit but uh, my one fit. 
So basically as you open it up, you see the radio in the, the tin and we still see a little bit of the black uh, fabric hanging out. So we can simply pull it out of the, of the Altoid tin. Uh, the, the tin of course is not watertight. I just put my label in it and two holes. The holes are basically that as we put it back in that we can take out the antenna. So the radio would be still protected and the antenna is out. And the second hole is for the earbuds. We can put in the earbuds sometimes. I need to press it because it has a little bit a little bit of play I need to press it up put the earbuds in and then I'm gonna close it up and then of course for a keep it shot I use a rubber band the, the kids use those as fashion things for around the, uh, like a bracelet but uh, the size fits absolute perfect on the Alto Eats can Alto Eats tin and uh, like this we can listen the radio and uh, with the with the earbuds and everything is pretty protected the antenna can be adjusted as well in case uh, not too much is uh, needed it depends on the surrounding uh, in here we have a, a terrible connection but I still gonna gonna put it on so that's that's how the two the two uh, holes in the in the tin come in uh, handy just saying if you have such a radio if you want to have it a bit more protected not watertight but uh, protected that's maybe the trick to take it out you simply take it out like that so I gonna put it on we have a terrible connection in here that's that's why it uh, doesn't sound too well we see the tune up uh, looking light up a bit sometimes but uh, the problem is I'm in door so it's not gonna gonna sound well but I did I did uh, test it outside and it's really well there no problem at all antenna fully out the, the sound quality is pretty nice for for such a little little device and uh, the, the battery lasts quite long for uh, what it is I would uh, suggest uh, get some rechargeable batteries then the, the cost for for using those are minimal also as I gonna storage them I will use lithium batteries I have to look for a supplier of lithium batteries that will have a self life of, of about 10 years in the triple A size so I can fill the radio up and uh, put it in the Altoid tin and finish quite likely I gonna put a second Altoid tin with the earbuds I have some uh, earbuds coming that are in a little case itself so hopefully the case gonna gonna fit in in a alto eats can at as well and maybe then I put some other other uh, stuff in more batteries we will see but uh, such a, a little radio is really nice to have in the personal kit uh, as as small as they are in black or in in a gray light price is really really nice of of those uh, that that uh, everybody should have one of those uh, back in the day in uh, switzerland those things were really expensive and uh, big it was never as easy to to carry all the the stuff with you and uh, yeah, batteries were really, really expensive too. So, from this uh, point in in USA, we really have it all. That much about uh, the Kaito 
KA200 radio, either in grey or in black. Have a look on their website, they make other products as well. That much about that. <laughs>